Hello, and thank you for checking out this video. Today I have a 148 scale Nichimo Key 45 Nick. This was made by Kawasaki back during the war, a Japanese heavy fighter. Uh, this particular variant has the upward firing 30 millimeter guns mounted in the top of it. And uh, this kit is uh, produced by Nichimo. And I believe Scalemates uh, said that it was put out in 1979. Uh, you'll notice that it has uh, recessed panel lines, which is really nice. And uh, for that era, that was kind of a new thing. Uh, detail on the surface is pretty good here. Uh, but I'm very proud of this plane because back in 2018, I suffered a bilateral pulmonary embolism. And basically, that means that blood clots got into my lungs. And it was submassive on the right, but it was massive on the left. So I spent some time in the hospital in several months just trying to get back to where I could breathe again because uh, it was really traumatic to the lungs to suffer from such a thing. So this kit was built during that recovery period, and I could only manage to uh, go to my model workbench for maybe 15 minutes at the most. So this kit is kind of a kind of a recovery project. Now, I did make some goofs on this, and I'll point them out to you. Uh, these yellow ID bands are too thick. They should be maybe a third of the width that I have them here. There's that. Um, the second thing is, and I didn't, and I've kind of left this as is, uh, I didn't paint the exhausts and the mark position navigation lights on the wing tips. I may go back and finish that. Uh, don't know. So this is kind of a monument to that period. Uh, did not paint this. I got, I've goofed up here on this leading edge on the wing. I'm going to be hard on myself with that. Uh, pedo tube. I don't know where he went. Who knows? Um, this window here, I didn't mask it off. <laughs> uh, when I went to put the, um, let me get it turned here to where you can see it's tail feathers. When I went to put the Sentai markings on the back here, I had a you know beautiful 55 Sentai uh, tail tail marking there, but the decal disintegrated, and the only other Key 55 unit that I had was this one. I can't remember right offhand which one this is, but this paint scheme is not correct for that um, particular marking there. Uh, it was painted with Model Mastery enamels. Uh, rest in peace. I'm going to miss those. I got used to working with those. This is the... Uh, uh, Japanese army uh, gray green and the Japanese army green and then on the bottom of the plane you can see that it is Japanese army gray green on the bottom. Uh, the interior components were painted uh, Tamiya XF-49 which I believe is called khaki. I'm not entirely certain uh, but it was XF-49. Uh, hand mask the, uh, the canopy there which was fun. Uh, hand painted, free handed the camouflage. Uh, you can see it's not exactly consistent, but I wasn't exactly breathing very good at that moment. Uh, let's see here. What else can I say? It fit together pretty well. It didn't have a, uh, a lot of drama as far as seams and that sort of thing goes. A little bit there at the wing root that I could have worked on. Um, again, I was not really doing. Oh, I'm missing the antenna there. Uh, really um, not not feeling well and just. This was, this was something I'd thought about when I was in the hospital. I said, you know, I've got a very large collection of, of kits of various types. And I need to get these things built. And it continues over on this other side. And those are stacked three deep. All right. So, yeah, this is the uh, Nichimo 148 Key 45 Nick. Now, I also have a Hasegawa kit of this in my collection somewhere. And uh, I will pull that one out at some point and build it. Uh, but this is a nice kit. Uh, the uh, cockpit detail was pretty good. You can't see much of it with the canopy on it. Uh, oh, and yeah, the hinges for the rudder are somewhere. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, um, thank you for having a look at it. And uh, wish me luck on my next build. Hopefully, if I can get some, some subscribers... I will uh, do some builds. Uh, I realize I'm not the best model builder in the world, but uh, maybe I'm. Uh, maybe me building can inspire you to build something. If I can do that and keep the hobby going, 
that will be good news for me and you. All right, well, take care, and until next time.